uncomfortable over concerns raised on the installation of smart meters, an idea of opting out has been discussed for residents wishing not to have the new technology installed in their homes. And while no policy has been approved yet, CCU Chairman Simon Sanchez tells KUAM that research has shown that communities that have allowed opting out have included a fee which GPA and the CCU are currently reviewing. And the fee is based on the, the recognition that if, if you don't want a smart meter, then the power company, GPA, is still going to have to send somebody out to your house to read the meter manually, and that's going to take time, and that's going to cost money. And that, so those that opt out need to pay for that cost, because it's not fair to everyone else that opts in to pay for costs that have nothing to do with their power reading. So that's what most communities do. That's not sitting well with Barragata resident Christopher Allen, who has already filed a lawsuit in the district court against GPA over the installation of the smart meters. In a letter to Sanchez and the GPA Board of Directors, Allen states should they adopt such policy, he would have no other option but to amend his current lawsuit to include what he claims is extortion. He further states, quote, save yourself and the people of Guam attorney fees, end quote, and includes articles of similar complaints filed by the main coalition to stop smart meters group. Allen declined an on-camera interview telling KUAM he didn't want to impact anything dealing with his lawsuit and said he was still waiting for a reply from the federal court. In response, Sanchez tells KUAM obviously there's a difference of opinion, and if Allen feels this is the best remedy, like every citizen, he has a right to do so. He has GPA and the CCU are reviewing all concerns and are still only looking at how other communities have allowed for opting out on smart meters for residents. Further discussion will continue on the matter when the CCU next meets on November 12th. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Ken Quintaniza.